And this NFL football player comes up to me. He goes, Goggins, can I ask you a question? How do you keep that dog mentality? I said, let me ask you a question. When you were younger, what did you want to be? He said, an NFL football player. But once I got there, I lost that dog mentality. He had a finish line in his brain. Guess what? A true dog mentality? I have a dog at home. He never gets full. It's not enough you made to the NFL. It's not enough you ran a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Guess what? In front of nine out here, but guess what? It's not enough. Stay hard. Today I was wanted. And this guy passes me in the car. And it's about 100 degrees out here. 70% humidity. And the guy comes back around, looks at me. He pulls his car by me and says, why are you out here? I said, because you're not. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to do it. We need doctors. We need dentists. We need teachers. We also need savvy. This message I do is not for everybody. Someone say that soft bullshit about me. Do you have sunscreen on? This message is dangerous. It's too hot. I'm not asking you to be like me. Do you. Stay hard. Your mind's getting softer. We do that shit with everything in life. A lot of you are trying to find inspiration and motivation with a depressed mindset. You don't find inspiration by not living in the grip of life. You need to live in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. Repetition every day. Stay hard. So the other day I got an email from this lady. She said she truly enjoyed my book. But as she read it, she thought I was just crazy. So after she read it, she put the book down and started living her normal life. Just going back paying bills, going back to work, complaining about shit. A few days later, she has time to think about the book and it scared her. She thought, well, maybe this guy isn't crazy. And that's what scared her the most. Maybe he's here trying to show us human potential, what we're all capable of doing. A lot of people like to put titles on other people who are doing extraordinary things. It makes them feel better about themselves. Gives them a get out of jail free card. I'm not crazy, I'm just not like you. In sports, there's a thing out there called load management. A lot of us like to load manage our lives. When you do that, you can find yourself right at normal. Get off that, stay hard. With success in life comes more haters. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that person who said you couldn't do something. Weren't fast enough, good enough, smart enough. Use them for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them in success. In life, we have to continue pushing past the odds. Use everything this world has to give you for fuel. Stay hard. Anybody, not just Navy SEALs, but anybody that can accomplish anything that is hard. The only separator is, is that they really want to be there. There's some people that get inspired and that inspiration moves them to try to do something. But the inspiration is very high right now in this nice environment. We're in a nice environment. I watched a movie about some badasses. You're inspired. But the second you're not in this environment and you're actually doing what inspired you, that suck factor is now real. You're now there. And only those people who have been there a million times in their minds and have lived in that water and have suffered a million times and realized my legs may break, my knee may break, my bones will hurt. I will be the coldest I've been in my life. I will be miserable and accept that. When you get in a horrible situation in life, 
your mind immediately says, get everybody's gas, even if you want to be there. 